gonna use this time to talk a little bit about the water treatment that I use. And the water treatment that I use is Aquamira, which is a chlorine dioxide based treatment. Uh, it leaves very little taste in the water. It's been proven to be very effective. And a lot of the uh, hikers in the ultralight community as well as the through hiking community will use it. The thing that I will be doing and demonstrating here is I'm gonna, I will not be following the exact instructions that show up on the Aquamira packaging. And I'll show you what I do. And the reason I do this is because it's, uh, <clears throat> it's very efficient in, uh, for time and uh, it, it proves to be very effective and uh, efficient. So I have a tiny little bottle here that I'll call my mix bottle. And this is, and I purposely have it in black. And I'll set this here for a second. And then I have, in a simple little snack Ziploc bag, I have two bottles that I've pre-filled at home, So because I, I don't need this, and I have it what's referred to as the A bottle and the B bottle. When you purchase the Aquamira from the sporting goods store, it comes in these two small bottles. Now, it may not seem like much, but there's plenty of liquid in these bottles to do a long trip, perhaps up to 30 days or so, using nothing more than the liquid right in these bottles. When you read the instructions, you'll realize that there's a simple little plastic cup that comes with the setup, and what you would do in the field when you needed to treat water is you would take seven drops of A, and then seven drops of B, put it in this little mixing cup, and then you would let it sit for seven minutes. It'll turn yellow, and believe me, it will turn bright yellow. Um, this little cup does exactly the same thing as this little mix bottle, this little pre-mix bottle that I would carry in my pocket. The difference is that um, I can carry this with a certain amount of drops in it all day long, and then I can treat the water all day long without stopping to fill and wait those seven minutes. What I would do before I left home is I would take these two big bottles and fill up these two small bottles and then just carry the small bottles in the field. This would be plenty to last for perhaps a, you know, a week and a half, two weeks. The little premix bottle is important uh, to be careful with for a few reasons. One of them is that the mixture itself is very susceptible to things like sunlight and heat. It will compromise the mix that's inside there. So I purposely use a black bottle and I purposely am careful where I carry it. Sometimes I'll carry it in my pocket and if it's very hot I'll carry it deep in my pack. Another thing that I'm also careful with is the little pieces here. There's a, 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 the lid and the little dropper unit. Um, it's very important not to lose those for obvious reasons. Now, in moderate weather, I would just carry this right in my pocket. Um, now, the A and B. Fill the little dropper bottle up, the premix bottle up each morning, and perhaps, uh, depends on the size of your bottle, for this bottle here it takes about 25 drops of A, 25 drops of B, that means there's 50 drops in the mix. That's more than enough to last me a day, a day and a half. Uh, if I have to wait too long, if I have to wait more than 48 hours, uh, which I think uh, would be very suspect uh, if the uh, the fluid would then be compromised. I would just pour it out. Um, when I carry it in the field, I carry the bottles in a very simple uh, snack baggie. This is just a Ziploc baggie right from the uh, right from the grocery store. And um, you know, so I would carry it something like this. This is just a simple way to organize it if, at very little weight. The drops in the mix will be bright yellow and it should remain yellow. If for some reason the drops are not bright yellow, pour it out and start over. Uh, the, the, the mixture needs to be an electric yellow and, and if it's yellow, I feel confident that the mixture is, in still, is still good enough to use to treat water. And now I'm going to put all this stuff to use. Now notice what I did. I always try to arrive at a water source with an empty bottle. That's just a lightweight thing. That just keeps me from carrying that extra weight. And water is one of the heaviest things you can carry in your back. Great. What I have is this little dropper thing with the mix is in my pocket, ready to go. 
we're going to add the drop. It's um, I put 10 drops in, which I feel is adequate for this very clean water. I'm going to put the cap back on, put it back in my pack, and keep hiking. You just saw me use 10 drops of the Aquamira Premix in a 1 liter water bottle. Now that water came out of a nice, clean stream at a high elevation in the mountains. Uh, there are a lot of factors that might contribute to unsafe water, and those insights will require some sort of knowledge of the area you'll be traveling in and around. Now, I'll usually use between 7 and 10 drops per liter, and I'll use less if I judge the water to be very clean, and more if I suspect the water might have some sort of contaminants. Okay, now that I've filled the water bottle and treated it with the premix drops, and now all I need to do is wait, because there's a chemical process that needs to take place within that water bottle, and that just takes a little bit of time. I feel like I've waited the proper amount of time, waited about 20 minutes. I don't have a watch, so I'm just guessing, maybe airing on the side a little more. I don't need to take my backpack off. I don't really even need to stop hiking. I can just take a sip of water. <sighs> and I can keep on hiking. You've just watched this short little video where I demonstrate what might be considered a very advanced ultralight skill. Now, knowing how to treat your water is essential, and I implore you to take that very seriously. That said, you'll need to take responsibility for your own safety in the mountains, and that includes how you deal with your water, too. For more detailed information on using Aquamira, check out tip number 106 in my new book, Ultralight Backpack and Tips from Falcon Guides. It's a technique that I use, and other ultralight hikers use it too. And there you have it.